Hi, welcome to Arlation Studios, and today we're so excited to share with you what we've learned about audio movers listened to and real-time collaborating with DAWs using Logic Pro. Now, I'm Paul, and I've got Colton here with me. Say hey, Colton. Hey. So we've been doing a lot of uh, research and talking to people about how can you do some real-time collaborating with DAWs over the Internet. Uh, it's a mystery thing that people are trying to figure out, and there's lots of solutions that claim they have it, but we haven't found a good one yet. But when we heard about Audio Movers Listen To, we thought we want to try this out. So we've spent a lot of time. How do you make this work, and how do you go back and forth? And we have a solution that kind of works for us. We want to share it with you, and maybe it will spark a, an idea of a, maybe even a different or better way to do it for you. You. The two challenges. First of all, we want to be able to talk to each other. And if you only have DAWs open and you feed your mic in, you're going to still have some latency back and forth. And that was kind of a drag. So we want to use Zoom to be able to talk to each other and see each other. I want to be able to see Colton's dog walk in the room. And we want to see feedback. Yeah, man, that's cool. I like the way that feels. So we want to use Zoom, but we don't want to feed our DAW audio into Zoom. We only want to send a mic in there. So that's challenge number one. The second challenge is how can Colton hear what I hear on my side in sync? And then how can and I hear what he hears on the backside? So let's do these one by one. First of all, how to set up Zoom. Now, we chose to go with Loopback by Rogue Amoeba. Man, it's a great program, and I, I, we need to do just a tutorial on Loopback. Loopback's killer and does all kinds of stuff. We've made a virtual device that is only going to send my mic. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Colton, say hello. Hello. See how Colton's coming in on 9 and 10? The normal device would have had 11 and, uh, I mean 11 and 12. It would have just had 11 and 12 patched into 1 and 2. And so if I had this device as Zoom's microphone, you would Colton would hear himself back. It's, it's not what we want. What we want is just this mic to be sent to one and two. We disabled all the other connections. So when I go over to Zoom's audio preferences, you know, right now I have just my Focusrite Thunderbolt. And if I play a sound in my dog, Colton, do you hear that? I do. Right. And see, that's not what I want because that's just going to create more delay. I want to come back to the loopback listen to mic only. This is for the tutorial. That's only sending the mic. Now, Colton, you can still hear me, right? Yeah. But when I play, Nothing. you can't hear that, right? Nope. Perfect. And you have this set up on your end as well. So you've I got do. a loop back in uh, a virtual device that's only the microphone, right? Right. So that's one. So now we're kind of done messing with Zoom. We can see each other. We can use the cameras. I can see his dog come in. Uh, but we don't, and, and, but we're not sending the DAW audio. So that's challenge number one, and that's fixed, using Loopback by Rogue Amoeba. Now, challenge two, how do we set up Listen To so we can kind of swap audio back and forth, but maybe I can jam on Colton's beat for a little bit. He can listen to it and go, man, I like the way that feels. He can also record the track with some good audio and have it on his end. I mean, you could do the thing where you send files back and forth and bounce down this idea, but it's just cumbersome, and it's not immediate feedback. I want Colton to say, man, that's great, but could you change that note or change that phrasing? How's that? That's good. Boom, and he can lay it in. So that's what we're going to set up right now. So Colton, share your screen, and let's start on your side. All right. So we're going to use Listen To by Audio Movers. Now, I know that a lot of teachers, like I know a teacher that's using this to share mixes. So he's mixing in Pro Tools and sending the audio out through Listen To to a browser and then doing a screen share in Zoom and adjusting the latency so it's not so bad. I get that. But we thought, how can we collaborate with this? So we're going to set up a session. Now, Colton's got a beat here. Uh, and right now, if you play this, we're not going to hear it. Yep. So we're going to yeah. set up the pipes, uh, the pipelines back and forth. So first of all, Colton, set up three aux channels. Now, what we're going to do is bring in, when you, when you download Listen To, you get two things. You get the Listen To plugin, and you get a receiver plugin. Now, you have to have an account with these guys, and you can sign up for a week or a month or a year, and the subscription price is low. It's totally worth doing. Colton, let's set up the three things. Now, on your first aux one, I'd like you to set up just the listen to plugin. So you go down and uh, audio units and audio movers and listen to. So you're going to have one transmitter and you're going to have two receivers. So on aux two, if you would put a listen to receiver on aux two, uh, there you go. And then on aux three, also put a new receiver, right? Now, we're not going to do the links yet. Let's just leave it right there. But for Colton to be able to monitor, we're also going to take advantage of the of the multiple outputs on his device. Now he's using an Antelope Discrete Eight. I've got a Thunderbolt, a uh, uh, Focusrite Thunderbolt Red Four, and if you have a 
audio interface where you can't listen to the different outputs one and two, three and four, five and six. I, mean, I can't address that. Um, I just know that this is how we've set this up. So aux one for Colton is going to come out stereo one and two, right? And it's already set up as a stereo out. Now go to aux two and set that to three and four. And this is going to be where Colton receives my synth so that he can play it. Now, Logic already makes a output three and four. So, yeah, set that as receive. And why don't you in aux one set that as a send? There you go. Now, change your stereo out to send and change your three and four to receive. And so those are kind of matched. Now, on the third plugin, which is also a receive, let's call this monitor. And this is monitoring what I'm hearing. I'm going to hear the drum beat and the synth at the, at, in real time and change its output to five and six. One of the reasons for doing this is just quick monitoring, quick soloing and muting so that we can turn things on and off very quickly, right? So we have right. three auxes, we have a transmit, two receivers, and we've changed their outputs to one and two, three and four, and five and six. Now, let's come over to my side for a second. On my side, I'm going to make three aux tracks as well, and I'm going to kind of do the opposite of what Colton did. So Colton had a transmit first, I'm going to have a receiver first. And then he has two receivers, and those are what I'm going to transmit to. So I've got a listen to receiver, and then a listen to, and a listen to. Now, instead of doing the outputs, the one, two, three, four, and five, and six, like Colton did, I don't need to do that. Over on my end, I need buses. Now I'm going to listen to my. I'm going to leave my receiver track like it is, right? But my transmit track, I'm going to change its input to bus one, and on the second one, I'm going to change its input to bus two. Now, here's my labels. On the first track, RCV, I'm gonna receive from Colton on this track, all right? And then my second track is gonna be what I'm gonna call record, I'm gonna abbreviate, record send. And my third track is gonna be a monitor send. Now, my record send is just gonna be my straight synth that I wanna send over to Colton, right? So I've got this Nexus track. And since I set the input of that to bus one, I'm gonna send this to bus one to the record send. Now I'm gonna make it pre-fader because I want to be able to adjust my volume without affecting what I send to Colton. So I'm gonna set that to zero and I'm sending that to the listen to. Now if I come over here, log in to that listen to and I'm gonna call this record send. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna change this to PCM 24 bit. I'm going to send this link to Colton right now. So I'm just going to use the Messenger app. I'm doing it off screen, but I'm sending that over to Colton, and he's going to pick up that link, right? You got it? Got it. Yep. He's we'll going go to call and paste it, up. it in. Yep. Now I'm going to start my transmission, and you can see that because I busted over to bus one, it's picking it up. And when we come over to Colton's screen, I see it coming into the plugin, right? And do you hear it? I hear it. Awesome. That works. Now for my second listen to plugin, I'm going to call it up as well, and I'm going to log in as well, <clears throat> and I'm going to call this monitor send. Now, this is going to be hard to kind of deal with for a second. I I'll explain to you why this is. I'm going to start the transmission, and I'm going to send Colton this link as well, all right? And then Colton's going to pick this up on his end. Got it. And put it in his, um, in his monitor. Now, here's the cookie part. Let me come over to logic here. Now, and you should be here. I'm going to also set my synth to go to, out to bus two. I'm going to make it pre-fader. I'm going to set it to zero. Now, you should be seeing that on both of those. Is that right? Let me come over and look. Yep, I see it. That's beautiful. All right. So, yeah, I know I'm sending it to two things on Colton's end, but that's fine. Now, let's get Colton's information and come back to me. All right. So, go to your listen to transmitter, log in, grab a link, and send it over to me. All right. All right, I'm jumping to my messenger. I'm grabbing the link. Should have it. Thank goodness for messenger. Now, on my side, I'm going to go ahead. Whoops. On my side, I'm going to put it into my receiver. I don't have to log in. I'm just going to paste it, connect. Now, send me that beat, Colton. All right, so first, I'm going to set this to bus one. Yep. And I'm going to route this channel to bus one. Okay. Now... I'm going to start transmission. Yep. <clears throat> I and got it. you should it. see it. Yeah, it sounds good. All right, so I keep playing. I want to see it coming in. All right, so that's coming in. Now, here's the, here's the weird thing we're going to do. See, I can play with that. But 
Colton right now can't hear that in time, right? That's right. Right. So for him to hear that, I want to send a monitor mix of my synth, which is going out of bus two, and what he's sending me, and send that back out of bus two, right? We'll make that pre-fader again. Now, Colton, go to your monitor track, mute one and two and three and four, and just listen to five and six for a minute. There you go. Mute those. And then, there you go. Now, play me that, and I'm going to play along. You're hearing that in time, right? Yeah, that's in time. Yeah, so Colton can, you know, he's got this cool beat. I want to play along, and I can play it, and Colton can say, hey, I don't like that riff. I'm like, can you change this? Can you change that? And he can hear what I'm doing in real time. Now, he can even just keep monitoring just like this, and we can pick up a record track. Colton, let's do two things. Will you set me up a click, please? Yes, I will do that. I'm going to take the click channel, send it out to bus one, my send to Paul. Turn it up. Crank it up. Perfect. You hear it? Yep. Perfect. Awesome. And so I'm going to hear that click, but I'm actually not going to be sending it back to Colton over my record track. He'll just get my synth, all right? Now, the second thing is you need to set up a record track. That's right. So I'm going to make an audio track. I'm going to set... First, I'm going to send this receive aux to bus two. Could be any bus, but we're doing bus two. Set it to zero. Now I'm going to turn this aux all the way down and set this in to pre-fader so I don't hear it twice. Perfect. This is going to be my receive bus. Now, the reason I did that is so I can set the input on the audio track to bus two so we can record Paul coming in. Got it. So the receive bus, you know, out of the receive listen to receiver, you're sending that to bus two, you've made an aux with bus two, and then you've set the audio track, it's input to bus two. So now, when you put it into record. It's ready. All right, so, and I'm gonna just do a little two notes at the top of this count off, just so we can line it up quickly. All right, here we go. Some of my best work. Now, yeah, it's great. Colton just needs to line that up real quick. If you want to zoom it in or not, it's up to you. Yeah. So first, I'm going to unmute these and mute the monitor. Yep. So, so I'm going to line those two hits up with the click. I'm right there. Now it should be in time. Now, for us to hear that back, Colton needs to send it to us. Now, this is this is where everybody gets really like, ah, okay. <laughs> so before we do that, Colton, make a new track. Okay. Right, and you want to send that back to me. I'm going to send it through bus one. Yep. And then you can just pull that file down so you're not re remaking this record track over and over again. There you go. That's it. Let's hear it. Yeah, it's in time and it sounds great. Pretty good, man. I'm happy with that. So that's how we came up with it. It's a little crazy. Um, you know, it takes three it takes three of these plugins, some audio movers listen to and listen to receive. Uh, we set up Zoom with just a mic only back and forth so we can talk to each other because that's how we've been able to communicate right now, right? Otherwise, we'd right. have to do it inside the DAW. Then we set up a system where I can send audio to Colton and he can send it 
back to me. Uh, I can send my my synth track to Colton, but then I can also send what I'm hearing back to Colton. He can monitor that quickly just by muting and unmuting these um, one, two, three, four, and five and six. Uh, and then I can get real time feedback. I can do the track for him. I made a little kind of a count in form that he can line up quickly, and we could keep going. We could do this with the singer. We could do this with more tracks. I think after this, we're going to try a live stream and do do kind of build a whole section and see how it feels. So. That's how we came up with it. Man, I hope this is helpful. There's probably a lot more different ways to do it. This is not the end all. If you have some great ideas, man, please let us know. We'd love to collaborate and keep making this better and better. We all got to stay together. We all got to keep working together, right? So let's keep talking. Love you guys. Peace. See ya.